Following uh, the president's pronouncement that the education institutions shall reopen for semi candidates, and then we issued a calendar subsequent to that. And our minister also came out to, to talk to you. So we thought we should come and make some clarifications now that uh, the reopening is under has started. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, on Monday, on the 1st of March, we reopened our schools to semi-candidates. That is P6. We had uh, A3 and S5. And then we have also issued a calendar on how the other classes now will follow both in, um, in the basic and secondary, but also now in other institutions of learning. Therefore, we wanted to throw some more light on areas that require emphasis. One of those areas is that schools uh, have already stated that they have reopened, and those schools shall strictly follow the revised school calendar. Two, special schools for learners with special needs can be allowed to open all their classes because normally they have fewer students, uh, but this can only be done if they are there to the recommended social distancing uh, SOPs provided to us and saturated to all, um, all schools. Now, schools operating day as day and boarding shall make arrangements to ensure that uh, their learners, you know, are kept separate. Because, you know, the, the background to this was to ensure that those who are in, when they go in really, uh, as much as possible should not interact with those who are coming out. And when we first reopened for Candace, we even wanted all of them, you know, if possible, to stay in. This is to minimize uh, unnecessary contact with those who are interacting with a bigger public uh, than others. Secondly, we have had the issue of recovery of time because people have been complaining that, you know, we have gone back, learners have lost time, they are wondering whether we are in the second term or third term, and they don't know how they shall be able to recover uh, all that they should have learned uh, during the academic year uh, 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have strategies for recovery of lost time, and these are premised on the following guiding principles. One that all essential curriculum content shall be recovered over a period of the education cycle, uh, and that cycle includes the lower primary, upper primary, lower secondary, and upper secondary. We also recognize that uh, curriculum delivery is sequential, is cumulative, is spiral, and concentric. Therefore, Curriculum coverage should not be restricted to a particular class in an education cycle, especially during a period uh, like this one in which we are operating. Thirdly, learning happens in both the class and beyond. Therefore, learning to learn is critical in curriculum implementation. Teachers and schools are capable of innovative ways of interpreting and implementing the curriculum to recover time if appropriate guide, uh, appropriately guided. Therefore, to ensure effective recovery of lost time, the Minister will implement the following strategies. Uh, we, uh, we shall reorganize uh, uh, the sequencing of the curriculum content such that work which cannot be covered in the current class is pushed to the next classes. We have what we have called the hybrid curriculum implementation 
and this shall include uh, distribution of self-study materials that will supplement uh, the lessons given by teachers. We have uh, lessons that will be broadcast on radio and TV. And we have uploaded, you know, uh, published audio and audiovisual learning materials on the ministry website and other websites like NCDC. Ladies and gentlemen, we thought um, we should also say something about the school fees. Because, as you know, uh, apart from you, the journalists, a number of parents have been complaining uh, that, you know, they may not be able to afford the school fees. Um, how is the ministry coming in? Ladies and gentlemen, education institutions shall engage their parents, stroke guardians, to adopt flexible fees payment arrangements and allow payments in appropriate installments. The management and governance of all the education institutions shall review institutional annual work plans and budgets to realign these work plans and budgets with the changes in education institution programs and priorities. We are also recommending that during this period, schools and institutions should avoid undertaking uh, capital development projects, you know, buying of buses, construction of buildings. You know, we are not operating under normal conditions. So we should restrict those activities so that we can only pay fees that can maintain our learners in schools. That will help us to scale down on the fees. And then we're also saying they shall not be increment in school fees. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought uh, before we allow you to ask questions, those were issues we can clarify on. We are now, we shall be pleased now to take your questions and we shall try to respond. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. Yes. Yeah. 
experience have gone back to any plans? Should we expect them to pay or to Thank you. Thank you, Martin. I think uh, yes, I was from the question, but at least uh, anyway, I think I'll, they are more too angry. Be one, eh? Not be like much, tell me like much. You talk about the uh, those uh, students who, who, who have been worrying about the uh, completion of syllabus and you say that eh, you will consider recurring those uh, who have been uh, not finished to, to, to the next class. Do you think that this, this one is going to affect those uh, students in senior career and uh, standard six pieces? Thank you. Last week. Thank you. And I uh, just that maybe the last person, but yeah, Mr. Jaka, what are you saying? Yes. My name is Ismael Suga. I work with Kukete. This appears to encourage schools not to increase the school fees, but we are realizing that most schools have already done this, and the students are already in schools. I mean, the semi candidate classes. How are you going to do this? Yet it has already been. Okay, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those questions. I will be inviting my colleagues uh, to come and throw some more light on some of these. The first question was uh, boarding students. Uh, boarding and they, how will they, okay, how shall we be able to separate? boarding and day. In the guidelines we gave, first of all, we gave a number of options how we can ensure that we observe the SOPs, especially social distancing. We, we advised that schools should only opt for one, either boarding or, or day where that school is already a boarding and day as much as possible this uh, the learners should not mix and for obvious reasons because as I stated uh, the means we use to get to these schools uh, where we stay who we interact with so you'll appreciate that those who are in a boarding school have a better chance of less interactions than those who are um, out there with their parents and you know moving every day to school so we requested our schools to make arrangements those who must have both boarding and day to make arrangements that these learners do not you know mix one of them for example is in the options you are giving where schools for example if you opened you know all the spaces you have the dining hall the uh, how do I, uh, main halls and still the space is not enough we're saying can you do in shift for example the learners if you have a mixed school uh, you have boarding and day some learners can do those in day can do after 12 30. they come in when the others have already uh, those in um, in uh, a boarding school have been there in the morning or we are even recommending alternate you know days 
So those should at least give these people some guidance. But within their school, the administration can, you know, see what is what is best. Even when both of them are doing, you know, uh, morning together and afternoon together, the school should be able to have arrangements to separate them. That is our recommendation. But if you cannot recommend them when they are coming in at the same time, then, you know, alternate them. Have shifts or have alternate days. Uh, the director basically will come in later to throw some more light on this. Secondly, uh, ECD policy, where we say uh, pre-primary education is very critical. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no class which is not critical. Two, we do not cl close or, you know, lock down any school or any level because it wasn't critical. We only closed down because we wanted to protect the learners. We have stated, and I think uh, His Excellency the President, when he was announcing now the reopening for semi-candidate classes, and subsequent uh, to that, the First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, stated that we have been advised that we hold on the reopening. We, are, we have called it phased reopening. So nursery schools or pre-primary is very critical in our education cycle. And their reopening is going to come, okay? But we advise that at this stage, it wasn't advisable because they carry a lot of respiratory infections and will act as vectors. Yesterday you may have heard that uh, the Minister of Health will be beginning the vaccination, I think, uh, next week. Next week, that's uh, 10th March or something like that. Hmm? Good. So 10th March, they will be beginning. What does that mean to the education sector? When we were considering the reopening and we were discussing with the scientists, we categorized uh, our teachers as frontline workers. And that frontline workers will take the first call on the vaccines when they finally arrive. We have already got a letter from the Minister of Health requesting us to submit a list of all teachers right from pre-primary to the high uh, institutions of learning. That means they are planning to have them vaccinated. And when they are vaccinated, we know that, you know, when we open the pre-primary uh, schools, these children will not carry, you know, uh, 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 diseases, including COVID, to their teachers. So, nursery education, is still under lockdown, not because it's not a priority, but because its time has not yet come. It will come, we hope, uh, soon. The other one is forcing day scholars to join. I think I've already answered this one. This, initially when we were reopening, we had wanted that as much as possible, you know, we separate day and boarding. And I think some schools a number of schools thought it was better that they have all their uh, learners inside the schools. That is the only time we had um, learners uh, being forced, I think, to join the, the schools. We got cases here in Kampala, Luviri, and other uh, uh, schools which should be basically the schools. But now, no one is should be forcing a parent or a learner uh, really to join a boarding school if that learner doesn't wish uh, to do so, especially if that school is not, you know, uh, a boarding school or is uh, a day and boarding. And therefore, this learner has opted to be in a day school. No one should do it. And when he does it, it's irregular. Distribution of materials, not yet at schools, uh, this was from Martin, I think. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we contracted some companies now to do for us um, the printing uh, of home study materials using resources we got from GPE. And uh, the classes we have covered is P5 to P7, then S1, S4. So 
in those uh, for those classes, uh, the companies are different levels of distribution because I know some companies have already started distribution. So it's not true. Whereas it's true that not all schools have received yet, but uh, some schools have already started receiving, and that distribution is ongoing, and we are very optimistic that the materials will be in these schools, all schools. And delivery this time is in schools, it's not at the district headquarters. Uh, what effect uh, will, um, because we have said we, uh, we may recover part of what we shall lose at the next cycle, part of what we shall lose uh, in the curriculum at the next cycle. So someone was saying, won't it affect A3 and S5? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's why we have called back the semi you know, earlier than others, again to try and catch up. So we expect that they will not lose out, but most important, and we shall make sure that the critical concepts which someone must pick at a given level of education are picked. So whereas we have even given, given them, we are giving them more time than, you know, other people, because, you know, for some, for some learners, they will be in, in, in school for eight weeks, but I think the semi-candidates, uh, these semi-candidates shall be there for 14 weeks, Mr. Molindo? So that alone is uh, already, you know, uh, addressing uh, that issue, that we should give them more time because they don't have so many other cycles uh, to be able to catch up. Uh, so they will be able to pick the concepts uh, they have not picked. Now, patience, and normally her questions are very complicated. I'll give that one director to respond. Uh, uh, the inspection reports, why did we open before? Then schools that have allowed classes, hmm? schools that, uh, ah, that is uh, irregular, ladies and gentlemen, because we, we have been announcing, you know, um, the reopening in stages. And if someone, you know, uh, takes back learners uh, of classes that have not yet been called, uh, it's regular, he's breaking the law, and uh, it should be reported. Just like the schools that are increasing school fees, because we have not received, normally we say, if you must increase school fees, uh, apply. We look at it, and then either say yes or no. And the law allows the means subject to regulate uh, school fees in this country. So, if someone is doing it without, you know, getting to us, he's doing it irregularly and we would be happy to have the names of these schools and we shall take action. Thank you very much. Can I request Dr. Uh, Kedres to come and then uh, you'll come and uh, add a few words to what I've said. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Permanent Secretary, for for leading us through this um, mo uh, morning's uh, discussion. Uh, yes, patients, we did the school inspection, actually, in December, and it was the basis against which we convinced the country that we can push in um, another extra class. We visited the schools, and we are still visiting the schools, even since the beginning of the year. So we have the reports of how much space is there, and how many uh, more learners we can accommodate. We are also glad that the Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Local Government has once again asked his local government leaders, the cows and town clerks, to ensure that every school is inspected and that Directorate of Education Standards gets regular reports. And they are doing that, so we have reports to give us confidence that there is space but that also our children will be there and will be safe. Um, I think basically that's about the, the inspection. Uh, we did inspection before Christmas. We have done inspection in February and it's going on. And maybe just to mention that it's not enough to just open. You have to continually observe the soaps 
to ensure the safety of the learners and the teachers. So as monitoring continues, if your school, if you relax as a head teacher and your school is no longer meeting the basics, we can ask you to close. So I want to appeal to all schools, all school leaders, to ensure that they continually observe the SOPs as they are doing, as they open for the learners. Otherwise, they risk being closed. Thank you very much. Um, before we open for the candidates, remember, we did all schools working with the local government. And all those which met the requirements, which we had set, we are able to be given a certificate of compliance. Now, those which had not met the requirements, but have since improved what they have, have been reinspected. And if they met the requirements, now they've been allowed to open for the sub-candidates. So those which didn't meet the requirements, actually we are closed by that bar. You could not open until you meet the requirements. And we shall continue to do that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pierce. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, most of the concerns raised here have been effectively answered by my peers. I just want maybe to add one little thing to do with a question which is relating to the time given to the sub candidates. Will it be enough for them to cover what they are supposed to cover? And we are saying or proposing. Uh, if you manage to look at the calendar, we are proposing a special term for these classes, senior P6, senior 3, and senior 5. You remember they are coming back in May. So between May and uh, say August, there when we shall be starting term 1, there is a lot of time. So we are creating a special term for them to cover ground. Uh, two, uh, Pierce talked about other classes who received the reports to the effect that some schools are allowing in some classes which are not yet officially uh, uh, called back. We have received the reports from some of you. We have even gone to some of these schools to verify. Incidentally, we didn't find this one true. However, if there is any school you know which is allowing in other classes which are not officially uh, permitted, Let's get to know so that we can address that issue. Um, there was a question, Mr. Pierce. Schools are being sold. What are we doing as a ministry? Yes, we understand some schools are really facing a lot of challenges in terms of continuing, and some are taking an option of selling them. We may not stop them, but as a ministry, you remember or you know that private schools are trying to have an engagement with ex his ex and the president. So we hope their discussion, their discussion maybe will bear fruit so they can also be put on that other group uh, to benefit from the relief fund. The, those are the two I wanted to share with you. Thank you. I just wanted to add something small on uh, forcing children to board. I was out in the field yesterday and I had something close to what you have asked. And the, 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 the complaint was that some children are going to miss school because their schools have made themselves boarding. I want to make this very, very clear that we have three categories of schools in Uganda. We have what we call day schools, and all primary schools, apart from those which have had extra, I mean, who have had express permission, are actually day schools. Then we have uh, boarding schools. Then we have those which have been day and boarding. When we sent out the first guidelines and we said choose what to be, the category that had issues was that which had day and boarding. The rest of the schools are supposed to operate in their formal accepted classification. So what I've learned and I was out in the field is that some schools have actually converted some classes into dormitories. 
They have no facility for boarding, they have no sanitation, they have no security. It's not acceptable. We are going to move out and close them. And I want to request that schools should get back to their original status. If you are a day school, run a day school, allow all children to benefit. No child should be left behind because of a certain decision that is not authorized. I thought I should clarify on this. Thank you very much, Dr. Yeah. 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 Uganda, Doctor. Yes. Doctor. He will speak Uganda. <laughs> Yes, uh, at this moment, let us welcome uh, the, uh, Mr. P.S. Hello. This one. 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 to bring our equipment. Question, where is your equipment? Sorry? Uganda version. Where is your equipment? <laughs> okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, today, sorry. Oruwalero, Minister of the Giriza, Nebiye Mizanyo, E ya gade ukuongele ukutangaza kuyo kugula uo ama somero gafe ngawe mmanyi inti tuwa gala omu machi omu wako guwede netumala ebanga guanvo ama somero gafe gona magale na ye tuwa ata niko gena nga tugula uo mpola mpola habana bafe ni bada masomero tuwa soka na avo Awali mwaka guawe, ogusemba yo, ogwa kamalirizo, nevada yo, kati mande newede, awana awala nabo, nevada masomero. Awa, awa gendo kufuka, awa gena mwaka guawe, ogusemba yo, awa, e, chibine chomu kaga, e, chibina, e, 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 cha senior three, na habari msini ya five. Kakati, bweba zeyo, tuwa gado kutangaza kusongo utontono, ngo mwemuli echava na habari masomero agatuala, agasomesa, habana habaina, habari kogulemu. Ngatuga amba masomero yako tegatila kupana habana habanji. Nolecho baba sobola, nga ebizimbe vyawe, Nevi ntuwe vila hivi koze sewa. Biso vola o kutuwa lava na wawebo na. Ama sumirago baga gule uo. Goka kule okuwa kuchibi na chisoka. Okuwa kuchibi na chisemba. Hivi nabiyo na wabi gule uo. Kuma sumiru ago aga sume sava na wafe. Habari kwa gule mo. Echoku vili. Tuwa itufu na okwe murugunya. Nti amasomero agamu gawa liliza habana Amasomero ago gade Gaso mesa habana wave wero Agamu gaso mesa habana wave wero Haba langa basu, mamu, mwa, basu la munda Ni inga ba gala buli omuasu le munda Angataba za debanji tewa chisobola Nitu gama nti Okuso kawetua ito wakatani kukugula oku wa candidates Kwa kiliza Amasomero agamu Ama somiro, aga sovola, nti 
amasomero gafe bwelibanga abana basula munda bona basule munda bwe banga basula bweru bona basule bweru nebo abasobola esomero ngali sobola okubasuza munda abo bali wa candidates babasuze munda obuta yongera kusasanya bulwadde kubanga abana basuli bweru batambulia mu taxi okujja bayina abagenyeka Urusi bagenze ku kubaga ku weekend okujja okwega tamba nawe abali munda nga tuloza kijja kuongera kusasanya obulwadde so twabadde tuloza anti cheta giso kutangaza nti amasomero tegaina kuwaliriza abazadde esomero bilibanga lya de abana ba bava bweru abana abaleke bavve bweru baba saze onti abana esomero bijja kwa na abana bavve bweru abalanga basula munda ekibere bwe kitone yenga abana abo kwagala baleme kubanga bigata abana abavve bweru rwandi agadde bigate na abana basula munda ekyo kubiri Kalau zanti, kita go kugera ku kungkose sa, ya fasil, ya ebizimbe, nebi ntu ebi dayi kose sebwa, mama somero gano. Kwa hicho saba nti, ngabo chisovoka, mama somero gano gakose se ebizimbe wa biawe biyo na oksoka, okubi kose sa mukusoma. Uh, kuiso, kuiso anga classrooms babere nti abana tebe kuma mu kifo kimu so nga tugamba dining hall uh, waliwo ebifo biwa biwa kolya munga speech days to be great so ke to be fully ebizimbe ebyo kusomera mu tine ebizimbe bwe bate bimaze abana bafe tusobolo basomesa munaku uh, abamu ne bakera ku macha abala ne bajja akaungeze mumpalo oba abambwe bajja kuluna kuno abane bajja kuluna ko ludako eshirala twayagadde abazadde bade beralikira nti tuluna asobola tutia okumala ebyo tusomesa mukabanga kanu ketuwadde abana ngatugama nti fenga ministry tukoze enteka teka eyo kubanti tu somesa abana ebisinga obukulu byabateeko okusoma okubatwala ku mutendera oguddako tuzita concepts ezili very critical ku ku mutendera kwe bali kona nga tujja kuisa mba somesa bafe engeri je basobola okusomesa abana bano tujita reorientation okubanti basobola okusomesa nibasomesa mangu a uh, siru kwa kwayo naye nibasomesa mu bwangu abana afi nibategera nibategera concept says zijjo bayamba naye bana ati bategedde kuluno tebasomye teba tujja bisomesa ku mulundi ku level edako naye bwabali abagenda mwako gusemba yonga tugamanti abo tujja gezaako okuteka yone katamu akalala okubanti basobola oku okusoma ibata somye tugena na kosa ebintu ya febye tu materials ze tuwandise ezo kusomereka tujja zi tuge tanso ziga bakati materials ezo zija kweyambisiwa abasomesa kubanga bwe zibawo omusomesa teleta gate kukola notes buto zija muyamba okubanti Baso mesa mangu abana bafe ngabaina a uh, not say no I say about to get the school fees natuga amanti tetu subira masomero kuongera school fees tusaba masomero mukasera kano ke tulimu fena ke tuma insi kalonje Amasomero galeme kugenda mu bintu bitwala sente nnyingi katinga okuzimba classrooms okugula bus okugula ettaka tugamba ebyo tusoke tubireke maloko kuita mu kasera kano abazadde basasole school fees ezoka ezetaga omwana okusigala ngali mu somero
nti aba abongeza school fees nga tebaze mu ministry kusaba lukusa nga bachiteko kuba baba amenyeteka era tusaba mu batubulire a uh, department ya fe ekwati wa kwecho ejagenda eba eba lungami mwe bale nyo mwe bale